Welcome back guys. So in today's video, we're back to rebaling. I'm gonna set the setup up. But first, so, what an interesting, so I was gonna set it up yesterday, but a little, I was getting ready to do it, and our 333D skid loader finally tore the track. These things, 12 year old tracks, about 1400 hours put on them. A lot of hard work put on them, so. It was about time. They're cracking and torn everywhere, so it's yeah. I guess it was just to be expected. But yeah, so but then that happened. And then like literally within ten minutes after, we got smoked by a bunch of rain, like three, four inches of rain even. It was a lot, and it soaked the place. I mean, for a drought year, it really soaked the place, and everything's still soaked. But uh, right now, we got to work on the rebuilding thing. First, I'm just gonna show you this rip here, close up. So you can see it just it was a weak spot and it just ripped apart and you see the cleat right there for the track and now the track is stretched so it's not lining up perfectly so this track is junk this skid loader is stuck right here until we get a track for it yeah not good thankfully we have other loaders it's just skid loader she uh she's down temporarily so yeah, let's get to it. And she is all set up. So, you know the drill. So, same thing as what we've done before. So, the Heston 4590 baler on this uh, Simcoe conveyor. And we got the Dewey's Super Slicer, which chops up the bales, dumps it in the conveyor. The whole system, hydraulic and PTO, is run off of a tractor. We sometimes use the 7810. We're using the 7410 this time. 74, it doesn't take too much horsepower, and the 7410 is more fuel efficient than the 7810. So we are going to use this one. So today we've got, we can only do so much before we gotta get it cleaned up before rain comes back. But um, so we gotta do some, put together some orders and some stock hay. So yeah, stick along and uh, you guys will enjoy what you see, but yeah. We're back at it guys, rebaling. So, you guys might be wondering, what about the combine? Well, corn head still on, but next thing I think we will be harvesting beans first. So this header in the in this coming week has gotta come out. Gotta get her all greased up, get all the chains checked, get the check the blade, the tension, check everything. Get that thing ready to go, and then we will finish up the corn head. Get the two heads done, finish up the combine, and then we will, whichever crop is ready to go first, we will do. But I think we're gonna let our corn sit and dry as long as it, we possibly can let it, and then we will go at it. But yeah. all loaded up and ready to deliver. We're loading up a few 
two pallets for stock and then we're gonna call it quits for the night all right guys that's it for this video we got a bunch of rebaling done and but there's a lot more to come there'll be a lot more videos in the future lots more rebaling some re, we'll, we'll I'll talk about some more different things about the rebaling and our deliveries and different types of hay but yeah uh, thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next one